These fake AI generated images are abusive, offensive, exploitative. Yeah, and like I'm pretty sure the person who made the AI images doesn't even know how to use any type of photo editing. Just and just type it in, and then it just makes it, bro. It's crazy, and it's only and gonna get better. Guys, when it's worse, <laughs> not not like better, but like the technology is gonna get better, therefore making it worse. With one tweet. Your life. This is a video by my boy Jamari, a YouTuber I've been watching for a long time. And I know um people react to him all the time. And I was gonna watch this video while I ate. So I was like, I might as well just react to it, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna lie. Before the video starts, I want I don't think there is anything in this universe stronger than this man's bond with Av and Av with Adam and Eve, bro. I swear to God. This nigga is the fucking LeBron James of Adam and Eve sponsorships, bro. Check out. That's J-A-M-A-R-I Jamari. That code is more ran through than any Adam and Eve customer, bro. As I'm sure most of you know by now, the Kansas City Chiefs to the Super Bowl. And during the game last week, some AI images began to circulate the web where Taylor was seen covered in red paint from head to toe, surrounded by Chiefs fans doing some very explicit the internet is weird, bro. Opposite things. Like I'm talking about the degeneracy rival <laughs> that of an Adam 22. Switches are not allowed. Switches are not allowed. I don't want any smoke. I don't, I, I don't want any smoke with any Swifty anywhere, bro. Artist of the year, album of the year, single of the year, whatever. Whatever she did of the year, bro. So, uh, but Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. No, Kanye. You're wrong. Ugh. Taylor Swift is reportedly furious that AI generated nude images of her Ugh. were circulating across social media on Thursday. Whether or not legal action will be taken is being decided, but there is one thing that is clear. These fake AI generated images are abusive, offensive, exploitative. Yeah, and it's kind of crazy how any nigga like you, you like I'm pretty sure the person who made the AI images doesn't even know how to use any type of photo editing or anything like I'm, I mean, I'm guessing, I don't, I don't know, I'm just a nigga on the internet, but I'm pretty sure you can just pay whatever amount it takes to make these AI generated like images and just type it in and then it just makes it, bro. It's crazy. And it's only going to get better. Guys, when it's worse, <laughs> not, not like that? better, but like the technology is going to get better, therefore making it worse. You, you know what I mean? Celebrities, deep fakes have been around forever. As for years, people have been photoshopping their favorite actresses, favorite singers and really any other famous person you can imagine to be nude. So I guess what I'm saying is Danny that's DeVito really nothing new, but where the situation does kind of become alarming is when you consider the capabilities of AI in the current day and how it's pretty insane. much anyone at this point can take just a regular photo of someone and essentially turn it into an adult image. This is what I'm talking about right here. Non-consensual deepfake Fee has also been made illegal in Texas, Minnesota, New York, Hawaii, Hawaii, and, Georgia, and Georgia, though it hasn't been successful in stopping the circulation of AI-generated nude images at high schools in New Jersey and Florida, where explicit deepfake images of female students were circulated uh, by male classmates. Yeah, like, uh, uh, and to me, fuck, that's where bro. the problem really lies. You're going to start seeing pictures of people's sisters people's mothers Children, and other like regular it, everyday people weird. who are not celebrities are going to be exploited in these ways and this is where i kind of get into the side topic of today's video actually like a dj academics variant by the name zv bear he had garnered a following over there for basically being a serious milkman which if you don't know me arrest him i don't even i don't even give a fuck about his allegations bro get this nigga out of here it's like Liking them is cool. Personally, not my cup of tea or my cup of milk. It's no problem. I, I have no problem with people who like whatever race or whatever the fuck they like. It's when you make it your whole personality and when you also disrespect the women of your own race. Like, that's when it's like, ugh, it's like, yeah. Means he's just addicted to white women, especially ones with large breasts. And so with him being the milkman he is, he tried to make one last... These Texans, bro. Milk? Come on now. Delivery, and he was one of the people to repost these images for millions of people to see. And so with him oh, being one of the biggest the and, I guess, most public accounts to post these images, the Swifties have now been wreaking havoc on this man's life. So here he says, my Taylor post went viral and now everyone is posting it. I love Taylor Swift. I've been a Swiftie. I've caused a, milk, caused reaction, a milk reaction, but at what cost? And it looks like the cost is here, strange, my guy, and you're going to have to pay up. 
obviously I am gonna be blurring out his information today because He's Somali? I'm not You know what? You know what? He's covering the forehead. I, pray, I swear to God, if the hat wasn't there, I would have seen it. The Swifties found out this man's full name, where he went to Damn. school, and exactly where he lives. But they how? Also and it appears to have sent him into a bit of an internet hiding. The Swifties really got this man down bad, and so he had to go private. I mean, let's be honest, guys. Anyone who created their Twitter account Bro, only around four years ago, who has 166,000 posts, really needs to go the... How many posts a year is that? 41,000 a year divided by 12. 3,458 a month divided by 30. I'm, I'm gonna average 30. This nigga tweets on average a hundred times a day. Get a job. This amount of Twitter activity should be straight up illegal. So this same account says the hunt is back on for his the address. Getting closer on. but still need to tie up some leads. Getting like closer but still FBI. need to tie up some leads. To me it's just leads. one of those things where everyone should kind of learn their lesson that acting like a clown online is never worth losing your personal freedom. Especially on Twitter where he was likely getting paid literally peanuts. Let's be honest guys, while a lot of AI out there will have some net positive effects on our society, for the most part a lot of this shit is very dystopian. Like outside of this situation it's the second the second you give the technology like access to or the second you give the public access to the technology, that's when it like I feel like that's when it goes downhill, bruh. I've seen so many videos, especially like advertisements <clears throat> for drop shipped products that use the likeness of a celebrity like Joe Rogan or and they essentially create a deep fake acting like they are vouching for their product when they've really done no that's such it. thing. If you think that's you're one of the 10,000 lucky people who'll get an iPhone 15 Pro for just two dollars. You were, let's say, unemployed guy somewhere from Canada. this guy created an app where it's really easy to make money around the world have made a lot of money that's Beast Casino. insane it just gets very dangerous to me when they can make literally anyone out there look like they said or did something that they didn't really say or do like something about that is very dangerous the number one thing we, we really do need to worry about is the future of ai and consent and the fact that this is happening and it is rampant and yes it's happened to taylor swift which is horrifying but it's actually happening behind the scenes at high schools around the country with young victims being harassed so yes i do think that laws will eventually come and if this guy zv bear gets caught up in some sort of federal trial some sort of precedent a milk rico bro isn't there throwing the book at this nigga bro setting trial that would just be insane like you around and tried to troll on twitter and it ruined your fucking life and this guy is still somehow out here trying to play the twitter villain where he says i don't care how powerful swifties are they'll never find me i'm like the joker I'm i like use fake numbers and addresses for everything i do as long as my account is still active i can never lose like Why being a twitter guy or no. whatever the f this guy would refer to himself is simply not worth it and what I do want to be clear, guys, you? that even in this situation, I obviously don't think that anyone should ever really be doxxed. But am I surprised that this happened? No, this guy has constantly been flying in way too close to the sun, and he finally got burned. Obviously, with Elon now owning Twitter, he was under fire for this whole situation as well. And in response, he's going to be hiring 100 content moderators, which has been something that's like, long overdue when it comes to twitter it's an absolute shit show over there and for the past couple of months you see corn gore videos and other crazy shit that has nothing to do with the original tweet. i'm not on twitter for that very reason bro I'm not, i i don't think i have logged on to a twitter account since like 2020 and it's because i almost saw someone die like i saw a video it was like, I don't even remember what happened, but I remember seeing the video and being like, oh, nah, this shit gotta go. This and like, you would go, people go on Twitter just to, to argue, and it's just like, I'm, I can't take it. So, yeah, bro. If it was like that in 2020, when I was on it, I can literally only, especially with AI and shit now, I can literally only imagine what it's like. Being now. promoted for Twitter engagement under anything that's viral. It's either that or you see all these accounts just straight up promoting girls' OF pages and other explicit things, just getting insane engagement on there. Like, it's very clear there was no moderation. And it's funny to me, he's hiring 100 people when previously the dumbass fired all the moderators yeah. and thought he was so big and bad. Like, there's going to be a Twitter renaissance, guys. Free speech, free speech. Just don't share that image. Oh. <gasps> 
built ass. Get the fuck that out image. of here, nigga. In all seriousness, though, I do I think it'll be built ass to nigga. see if this whole Taylor Swift situation kind of sets a deeper precedent when it comes to legislation involving AI. Do you guys know anyone who has fallen victim to the deep fake? I want to know down below in the comments. But either way, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a yes, like, sir. and subscribing. As you guys know, it's been your boy, the Tan Superman. It's and some, some other buffoonery out here needs to be covered. Hello. So I'm out. I got it. Peace! <laughs> Fuck with that nigga, bro. He was on the timeline constantly writing for white women, and they ended up being his downfall. It's poetic. I swear to God, bro. If he was a chocolate milk man, shit wouldn't have happened, twin. I joined a Danny DeVito OF page. Lock this nigga up. Can't imagine being in middle and high school right now. Oh, God. Because, like, one, there's the risk of, like, one, there's kids whose, like, parents are on OnlyFans and they're pulling that shit up. But now the parent don't even need the OnlyFans. All you got to do is get a picture and throw that shit in AI. It's insane, bro. What an apology, rookie. Everyone knows with the ukulele, this would have been S-tier. Oh, my God. But, yeah, this shit is crazy, bro. This shit is insane.